Diving into the Wreck by Adriana Rich. First, having read the book of myths, unloaded the camera and checked the edge of the knife blade, I put on the body armor of black rubber, the absurd flippers, the grave and awkward mask. I'm having to do this not like Costo with his assiduous team aboard the sun-flooded schooner, but here alone. There is a ladder. The ladder is always there, hanging innocently close to the side of the schooner. We know what it is for. We who have used it. Otherwise, it is a piece of maritime floss, some sundry equipment. I go down, rung after rung, and still the oxygen immerses me. The blue light, the clear atoms of our human air. I go down, my flippers cripple me. I crawl like an insect down the ladder, and there is no one to tell me when the ocean will begin. First the air is blue, and then it is bluer, and then green, and then black. I'm blacking out, and yet my mask is powerful. It pumps my blood with power. The sea is another story. The sea is not the question of power. I have to learn alone to turn my body without force in the deep element. And now it is easy to forget what I came for. Among so many who have always lived here, swaying their granulated fans between the reefs and besides you breathe differently down here. I came to explore the wreck. The words are purposes. The words are maps. I came to see the damage that was done and the treasures that prevail. I stroked the beam of my lamp slowly along the flank of something more permanent than fish or weed. The thing I came for, the wreck and not the story of the wreck. The thing itself and not the myth. The brown face always staring toward the sun. The evidence of damage worn by the salt and sway into the spread bare beauty, the ribs of the disaster curving their assertion among the tentative hunters. This is the place and I am here, the mermaid whose dark hair streams black, the merman in his armored body. We circle silently about the wreck, we dive into the hold. I am she, I am he. Whose brown face sleeps with open eyes, whose breasts still bear the stress, whose silver, copper, and vermeil cargo lies obscurely inside barrels, half wedged and left to rot. We are the half destroyed instruments that once held to a course the water eaten log, the fouled compass. We are, I am, you are. By cowardice or courage, the one who find our way back into the scene, carrying a knife, a camera, a book of myths, in which our names do not appear. To read the analysis of this whole poem, check out the link in description and don't forget to share your poems at updivine.com. Thank you.